Okay. Our, our goal when hosting these calls is to bring some fresh ideas that you can easily integrate into your client conversations in your practice. I am very excited to introduce our speaker today who has some unique opportunities and concepts to share with us, along with a couple compelling case studies that are geared towards maximizing your client's retirement income and also ways to help your clients have a stronger confidence in the retirement. So our speaker today is none other than Terika Novak, Regional Vice President with AIG Financial. Uh, Terika heads up the independent marketing channel for annuities, and she and her husband live in sunny and warm Dallas, Texas. Um, I see many familiar names on the call today. I want to sincerely thank all of you for your partnership and your business. For those of you on the call uh, that are not yet contracted with INA and AIG, our ask is for you to give us the opportunity to earn your business. So I want to thank you for joining us. Um, we have some fun giveaways today that I will announce toward the end of our call. And uh, all you need to do is complete the product training for any of the annuity products in the AIG lineup. But uh, I'll save that for the end. Um, as always, please don't hesitate to call us if you have any additional questions. And uh, you can speak to any one of our very talented annuity specialists. Our number is 800-456-7999. Um, I'm paid to give that number, by the way. Um, so at this point, um, I would love to introduce our speaker for today, uh, Terika Novak with AIG Financial. So thank you, Terika, and uh, take it away. Hi, Tom. Thank you so much uh, for the introduction. And um, I'm excited to be here to uh, share this, our income savvy presentation, how, how top agents can help maximize clients' retirement uh, savings, protection, and retirement income. Um, just to check in real quick, are you able to see my income savvy screen? Yes, I can. Absolutely. Okay, wonderful. All right, everybody, let's get started. Thank you for joining us. As we know, as a lot, a lot of baby boomers are in retirement and nearing retirement, there's a paradigm shift when it comes to investing. Um, after spending years of savings uh, for retirement, boomers can now figure now need to figure out a way to convert their accumulated retirement assets into reliable income so that they can so, uh, that they can count on that can support their retirement lifestyle. So what that means is less risk. They need that protection on their retirement savings. As we know, it's that's pretty much easier said than done, uh, particularly in light of today's low yields and high volatile market conditions. Many of your clients have accumulated a significant amount of retirement assets and they feel proud about it. And in essence, they've reached this, the mountain's peak in, in this picture, as we can see here. But now uh, they need to climb down. Interestingly, as we, I think many of us know, in mountain climbing, this is where most people die on the way down. Um, it's either they're they're just tired um, or they run out of resources and and for that reason we can uh, draw the similarity in where when we've retired we've reached our peak of accumulation and uh, growing our assets and now we're decumulating our assets spending down but the worst thing that we wanna do is run out of income or run out of assets when we're retired and we're still alive. So retirement planning is like climbing a mountain. Of course, without the risk of dying, um, your clients can still need to have a plan put together for 20 or 30 years in retirement, saving, investing, working with an advisor, um, to help them manage the decumulation, the most dangerous part or riskier part of their lives. And there's many alternatives uh, and solutions, but we'll talk a, a few in regards to 
what AIG annuities offers today. So four things we're gonna just briefly over go through as an overview. Navigating the risk of decumulation. What are those? What are the risks? Um, a process to help develop the right client focused income plan. And a little lesson about the values of caps and floors during accumulation and distribution. We're gonna to touch on um, index annuities and how they work. And then we're also gonna, last thing we're gonna to touch on is a case study, uh, speaking more towards one of our income solutions that's on a fixed annuity. Um, and then a case study that shows how unprotected withdrawals differ versus protected withdrawals with this um, fixed annuity with income rider solution. So let's go to navigating the risk of decumulation. One of the key risks that clients face is, un, is really an unknown time horizon. How long of a retirement do they need to plan for? You know, before retirement, the time horizon is generally known. For example, a 35 year old may be planning for retirement at 65 or, or thereabouts. If investment returns are lower than clients had hoped for, they have a choice. They can either save more, increase their time horizon by working longer. But after retirement, uh, the time horizon is unknown uh, because clients don't really know how long they are going to live. We know the stats here. 65-year-old female has a 31% chance to live to age 95, and a male 65 has a 21% chance to live to 95. Directly associated uh, with longevity and market volatility, um, it's part of the decumulation risk is the sequence of returns risk. Keep in mind, sequence of returns refers to the order in which clients encounter positive and or negative returns and how a client's investment is impacted by that order. During the decumulation period, clients' portfolios may be less able to weather market declines. Such declines may have permanent impact on their, reti on their retirement income plans. So let's just take a look here at this slide. There's three investors. They each made the same initial investment of a million dollars once they retired at 65. What's interesting to note is they all had an average annual return of 7% over 25 years. All made withdrawals of $60,000 adjusted annually for inflation approximately 3% every year. At age 90, all had different portfolio values due to the annual withdrawals. Now, why did they have different portfolio values? Bottom line, it was a sequence of returns that they encountered. So let's look at Mrs. Doe. Mrs. Doe is in the um, purple uh, graph where we see in the initial years at age 66, 67, 68, she encountered positive returns of 22%, 15 and 12%. In the meantime, she was taking her 60,000 withdrawals adjusted for inflation. Because she started out when the market was positive in her distributions, her ending value after an average return of 7% ended up with 1,099,831. As you can tell, Mrs. Doe was very satisfied with her outcome. And that was at age 90. Now, Mr. White had a different outcome. Mr. White, initially, when he retired at 66 and 67, he experienced two market declines of negative seven and negative 4%. Then compounding that with his $60,000 withdrawals and adjusted for inflation, even though he, two earned an average return of 7% over 25 years, his portfolio ran out of money at age 89 with zero remaining. And unfortunate for Mr. White, he was still very much alive. Now, 
we could also, our, some of our clients can also be misled. What if we had an average return of 7%? Well, for sure, I can make it through retirement years, no problem with an average of 7%. And that's what's indicated by Mr. Rush. Mr. Rush's example, he was the same, a million dollars to start out with. Um, luck of the draw, he earned 7% every year and he took his $60,000 withdrawals, adjusted for inflation. Um, however, at age 90, he's still alive. And now he's concerned, he's so healthy, that he only has $430,000 remaining. So again, the risk of market risk and sequence of returns can be very real to each one of us. We never know what the market will do the day after we retire. Let's talk about now a process to help develop the right client-focused income plan. Well, many agents and advisors have go back to this old William Benin rule, the 4% safe withdrawal rate. And the question is, is it really a safe withdrawal rate anymore? Unfortunately, take a look at today's fixed income yields. Now keep in mind, these yields are as shown as of December 31st, 2020. The yields today are very different, especially in the U.S. 10-year Treasury. Um, but as you can see overall, between the years, if we compare 2007, 2013, 2020, and even today, 2021, fixed income yields are very low. And the reason why this is a, a problem is for our retirees who are looking to be conservatively more conservative in their portfolios because they don't want to take on the market risk, they're not earning enough interest from these fixed income products. So what is that? Uh, what is the conclusion of this? Well, the 4% rule is no longer the safe withdrawal rate rule. It's more like the 2.29% rule. And where does that come from? Well, it comes from a study uh, where it, you, where we can see a moderate portfolio, a moderate portfolio of one that is 60-40, uh, I'm sorry, 50-50 stocks, bonds. And the next 30 years, 65-year-old living the next 30 years to age 95, and the chances that they would actually have a dollar remaining at the end of that 30 year period. Keep in mind, that's still not 100% certainty because there's still, as you can see here, a 90% chance that you'll make it. 90% is a lot better uh, than 50%. But all in all being considered, you could get a higher withdrawal rate, safe withdrawal rate, if you went more aggressive, but clients aren't willing to do that. Separately, they can be more conservative and have 100% uh, chance of their income lasting as long as they are, 95 or older. But that's such a conservative withdrawal, who can live off of 1.57? Let's take a look at how we can validate these withdrawal rate numbers and the success and percentage chance of the income lasting. Here's an abbreviated graph from a study from T. Rowe Price. T. Rowe Price is, is, not, is not in the annuity business, by the way. They're a money manager. And so they did some analysis um, where this hypothetical table shows the probability that assets will last through a 30-year retirement, given certain withdrawal rates and stock bonds allocation. These projections um, also assume in the first year um, is the stated percentage of the original, stated percentage percent of the uh, allocation starting at the original uh, starting of the of portfolio. Each year thereafter, clients start taking their withdrawal rate. So let's take a look here. A client who has a 60-40 uh, stock bond mix, who is initially taking a 4% withdrawal, in the first year, 
And then every year thereafter, it's adjusted upward 3% for inflation. Their portfolio has an 80% chance of lasting throughout retirement. Remember the earlier statistic from the previous slide was a 50-50 portfolio, and that had a 90% chance. So keep in mind, the chances, the percentage of success is greater when you go to the lower withdrawal rate. But the challenge there is we don't, it will provide us with enough income. Now, why is this such a big deal? Well, because we do need some market growth, but we can't afford to be in the market to take on the risk. So what solution may we come up with? Well, annuities, they can provide retirement security. Why? Well, they offer principal protection, opportunities for growth, and lifetime income solutions. So we need to educate our clients on how to best reposition a portion of their savings and investments to maybe an annuity to help them solve for what we will see here, their retirement needs pyramid. What I like about this retirement needs pyramid, it helps the client see and picture their essential income needs, which is basically what we're gonna rely on for day-to-day -day living. And then which is more so to keep the lights on in the house, insurance paid, um, the car running, day-to-day -day food, et cetera. This needs to be the foundation of the client's retirement, uh, re retirement savings portfolio. They need to be funded from guaranteed income sources, such as social security, pensions, and or annuity. You see here, it's, it throws in here, uh, low-risk investments would do the trick, but unfortunately, not with the current low yield. Separately, we can also discuss with our clients the discretionary lifestyle expenses, entertainment, vacation, uh, you know, traveling to see be with family. Now, this can also be funded from guaranteed income sources, such as annuity. And then separately, um, if they have assets left over, there can be also a way to utilize guaranteed protected uh, products, principal protected products, to help them with their legacy plan and funding their life insurance trusts, long-term care, other wealth transfer and trust uh, strategies. Now let's go into a quick uh, 101 on values of caps and floors during accumulation and distribution. Why do we know possibly what a, an index annuity, let's say with AIG, the power series of index annuity could work when we're talking about providing um, protection, additional protection for the client's retirement savings and a potential income stream that is also protected. Well, in this example that you see on the screen here, um, here's a hypothetical performance of the Power Series index annuity from 2000 to 2010, um, otherwise known as the US economy loss decade. And most of you know why it's called that, because during this period of 2000 to 2010, you see the returns at the bottom here, the negative years in 2000 and 2001 and 2007 resulted in a zero growth, zero growth and even a loss in the market if you were invested during the same period throughout 2000 and 2010. Here's an example with the S&P. The S&P 500 is indicated by the blue in this graph. And the clients here started out with 100,000. And as you can see in the initial years, the 2000-2001, that S&P fell. And then back, and starting in 2002, we had regained, regained some growth. Now, 
because the client did not have principal protection on their S&P portfolio, it took four years to recover from their earlier losses and get back to a hundred their hundred thousand dollar principal that they started with, as you can see here. So once they were in the green in 2005, mid 2005, they then rate uh, their portfolio increased up until 2007. But then what happened? The mortgage bubble. That S and P portfolio dropped again, and then 2008, 2009 slowly recovered. But unfortunately, most of our clients were out of the market by then. Uh, but those that were remained in the market with the S&P 500, unfortunately, they still did not return to their original principal after 10 years. Their 100,000 ended up with $95,238. And that was without taking any distribution. Now, by contrast, many of you might be already familiar with this, but the index annuity is illustrated in the green, where we're taking an S&P 500 top strategy, the 5% cap, and in each year the market declines. We've got no loss of principal, as we can see here from 2000 to 2002. When the market increases, we've got our 5% cap that's growing along with it. 2007, we see that when the S&P falls, we are again protected by the power of zero. And then thereafter, 2008 and 2009, where our 5% S&P cap is working for us in, in the growth. So in comparison, over this, these same 10 years, clients would have earned $36,000 more interest, or I should say, they earned $36,000 of interest during this last decade, but over overall, um, they approximately had about $41,000 difference with, in comparison to the S&P investment here that started during the same time frame. Now, again, continuing on the thoughts of the benefits of caps and floors, we know because the market is so uncertain, it's difficult to grow assets. So the next couple of slides you're gonna see show why growth and principal protection is important in building assets in volatile markets. Looking at this chart, it's difficult to grow assets if, you, if uh, we are in turbulent times. If we're at 10% up in the market, 10% down, and that's consistent for, for 10 years, they don't cancel each other out. 100,000 would end up being 95,000 at the end of this period. If we had a positive 10, negative 10 returns every other year. And the reason why is because a 10% loss needs an 11% gain to break even. In the accumulation phase, sequence of returns really doesn't matter. In other words, because we're dollar cost averaging in. But as shown in this slide, even if returns are reversed, the clients were, will still experience the same loss at the end of the 10 year period. In other words, regardless of sequence of returns, whether, whether the market was up or down in the initial year, and we're still accumulating, we're still at that $95,000 mark at the end of 10 years, after we start with 100,000. So we experience the same loss during that 10 year period. Well, let's now show you how different that index annuity solution is. When you protect principal and growth, you can see it matters a lot. The slide shows the positive impact that the cap and floor structure of the index annuity can have in a client's retirement portfolio. In the up years, clients have the, the potential to earn strong interest, whether it's subject to an index rate cap up at S&P or multiple crediting strategies 
that we at AIG offer, um, the clients have potential to earn interest every year and not lose any interest earned from previous years. The power series of index annuities are the solution that we have that have the caps and floors and participation rates and spread rates available. Let's look at a specific example using the Power 5 protector. The Power 5 protector, as well as the Power 7 and the Power 10, the only thing that differentiates them from each other is the surrender charge period. On the Power 5 protector, it is strictly an accumulation growth solution. Power 7 and the Power 10 offer an income or growth solution. But for the growth solutions, all of them, whether income or pure growth, all of them offer the broad range of indices to help combat low interest rates. Remember when we looked at the low income, low fixed income yields, we said we definitely needed some way to earn more interest and returns. And how, how can we do that? Well, with AIG, we offer the S&P 500 uh, cap and par strategies, the Russell and the MSCI cap strategies, and then the three multi-asset risk managing, managed indices on the right, the AQR, a one-year and two-year par strategy, the Merrill Lynch and the PIMCO one-year power strategies. Let's do a quick uh, look, take a quick look at the Power 5 protector in a diversified portfolio where we're protecting the principal against any market downturns and even taking a distribution as if we are in our retirement years. Now keep in mind, the Power 5 Protector is in a growth product only. There is no income guaranteed offered on this product. So no fees are illustrated on this hypothetical. Just to give you a quick summary, I ran this on an age 65 year old with $100,000 and I, I'm demonstrating a three and a half percent optional interest only withdrawal. It's an interest only withdrawal. And that withdrawal starts one year after issue because most index annuities allow free withdrawals starting in the second year. And it's given a year of time for the index crediting strategies to grow. The index crediting strategies I suggest should always be diversified. Never put all your eggs in one basket. So here I'm demonstrating the S&P 500 caps with a 4.3 cap, the Merrill Lynch uh, annual point-to-point -point par rate of 77%, and the AQR annual point-to-point -point par with spread of 90% and a 1%. Uh, uh, it's a 90% par, excuse me, and a 1% spread. You can see I diversified evenly, a third in each strategy. The net results are the following. Take a look at the three years here of negative return. Now, I wanna just focus on what these years are. Um, and I apologize that the highlighted box is just a little bit off, but there you could see um, the S&P in year 10 was negative 10%. That, was, that is a specific year year 2000. Year 11 is actually 2001 and year 12 is 2002. So in each of these three years, in each of these years, you had a negative return. How did that affect the result of the annuity? Well, clients, remember we started out with 100,000. During the initial years, we're earning interest, and yet we're also taking $3,500 of withdrawals out. 
But by the time 2000 comes along and we get a hit of negative 10%, we earn zero in interest, but we don't lose anything that we've earned. The only thing that we see reduced here is our 111,000 minus the withdrawal of 3,500. So we're at $108,000. In year 2001, negative 13% is what the market does. That we still have some crediting strategies with the eight Merrill Lynch and the AQR that provides growth because they're volatility control strategies. And we earn some interest of 1563, then reduce our, by our withdrawal of 3,500 of interest only, we only had a slight reduction of 106,297, all because we were protected when the S&P went down with zero, and we had two up years with the AQR Merrill Lynch. Again, another reason why we need to diversify the crediting strategy. When we're looking at 2002, negative 23%, that's a big decline. Again, we're unaffected by losing any retirement savings due to that negative return because of the protection of zero. And to our delight, the AQR and the Merrill Lynch strategies here uh, did very well, 7% and 9%. Thus resulted in some positive returns here. And then again, we took our withdrawal of interest only 3,500 and we managed to still increase slightly increase um, our principal despite taking the interest only withdrawal. The reason why I'm bringing this up is for the reason that we, the prior screen that we talked about. Protecting the principal in market downturns saves clients a lot of stress. Their assets overall can have more opportunity to grow when re markets recover. Overall, this sample illustration just demonstrates over 30 years, the client earned an average of 4%. They earned about $129,000 of interest. And they've taken about 101,000 of that out as an optional withdrawal. And they still have remaining in principle 128,000. Wouldn't you agree this is, could be a lot more favorable than a client, what they would get at a bank with a CD? I would say so as well. Again, here's the reason for the power behind the values of caps, cars, and floors. Now let's transition a little bit our conversation. What if our clients wanted more income? They didn't just want interest only withdrawals, but they wanted a five, six, uh, or more income stream that was guaranteed for life. First of all, let's just go through a recap of unprotected withdrawals versus protected withdrawals and the solutions that AIG offers. AIG offers our power series of index annuities, which has for an additional fee a guaranteed lifetime income. Keep in mind, our income benefit will be enhanced coming March 22nd, March 22nd. So I'm not gonna to speak to those new features until that time. So more to come on that. The index annuity by design, because it has those crediting strategies as we saw similar to what we showed in the Power 5 protector, the principal can still grow. Um, however, with the income guarantee, the benefit to the client is a 5.25% distribution guaranteed for life, rather than just a 3.5% interest only withdrawal. The product also provides access to principal through free withdrawals of 10% every year, as well as waivers upon terminal illness, death, or nursing home. And the benefit to the client is, is that it's not held in the market. There's no potential for the interest to, to lose interest 
uh, based on any negative performance in any index. The protection in the power of zero is there. The guaranteed income benefit on our index annuity it, rider um, starting March 22nd will be a prop, uh, the fee will be 1.1%. And we will have a withdrawal rate as high as 7.25% being offered for clients ages 72 and older. So once again, let's circle back on March 22nd and get more details on that new improved rider on our index annuity power protector series. For the next slides that we're gonna talk about an unprotected versus protected withdrawal, we're gonna use our fixed annuity solution called the Assured Edge Income Achiever. Assured Edge is a quite unique, being a fixed annuity, a 10 year product, surrender product in most states. In California, it's a nine year product. And in New York, also available with an income rider, the seven year product. It provides mostly income with a lot lower growth potential. There is also access to principal, sub, uh, the 10% free withdrawal, nursing home waivers, um, term and illness waiver, two out of six ADL waivers, and no per market participation and no index crediting strategies. It is purely a fixed annuity with little growth, but more so high income potential. The fee on the Assured Edge Income Achiever is a 0.95%. Let's take a look here where you can find some more information. Our, this is what your, uh, your support at Insurance Network America can offer you, the Assured Edge Income Achiever Playbook. In this playbook, you'll have product overviews, client brochures, uh, client flyers and sales ideas, and advisor resources, agent advisor resources. Two features that I highlight is the placemat, which is client approved, as well as the Assured Edge Income Achiever Web Calculator. Now I'm gonna transition to that Assured Edge Income Achiever playbook and go live there. And hopefully you can see my web screen with its Assured Edge playbook live. And I'm gonna click on the placemat to demonstrate how competitive these income rates are on this fixed annuity. I'm gonna also mention a couple ideas here. Looking at this, take a look at the issue ages of 50, to age 80. So the product can be purchased from 50 to age 80. How competitive is the payout? Well, for a single life individual, immediate income out the door within the 30 days of issue is 5.2%. 65, 5.7%. 70, 5.95%. Granted, on the example on the left, which we won't get into detail, goes through the deferral income credit or income growth rate on how that works. However, I do wanna be transparent. This product is designed for income now and soon. The most competitive income is gonna be income within the first uh, initial month to uh, under a three-year deferral. This product also competes with lifetime payout options on SPIAs. It gives you also a way to compete now for and against employer pension. A success story on this product was I had a 62 year old. Um, in January, we received $2.1 million in the Assured Edge Income Achiever of his pension because it provided more income for a single life male than the pension, as well as the access and liquidity option. Keep in mind, this placemat, this sales piece I'm showing you here, is client approved. And the flip side, 
is the joint life income on the back side. So here's your joint life. If we were to take a 60 year old couple, income right out the gate would be 4.7%. Keep in mind for joint life clients who have couple where the spouses are quite a bit of age difference, where we have a 65 year old and then we have a 60 year old spouse, that decrease is, is very small. Again, we are very competitive if you compare us among other carriers on that joint life space. Let's go back to why we know we need a protective withdrawal screen. If we're looking at a 65 year old individual, we could run a lot of our illustrations on our AIG Connects website, but we can also run them on, a, on the Assured Edge Income Achiever Web Calculator. By the way, this calculator um, pushes out a single page, one page client approved illustration. And if you like simple, this is the answer to, uh, to that solution for a simple client solution and presentation. So let's go through an unprotected systematic withdrawal strategy. Let's talk through this slide. We have Richard. Uh, Richard, he's 65 years old, and he needs 50,000 every year to cover his total annual retirement expenses. Um, like most folks in, at his age, he gets Social Security, but it's only going to be $20,000, which leaves him a $30,000 income gap. He has saved quite a bit for retirement, approximately $750,000. Now let's look at this case where we could actually just set up with a, or has, that he currently has set up with his traditional advisor um, that invests him in the market. What the, that financial advisor recommends to him that he takes his $30,000 income gap from his $750,000 portfolio. So if you do the math, his portfolio withdrawal rate is 4%. Didn't we discuss earlier that that 4% withdrawal rate rule is no longer safe? And how did we come up with that? We took the 30,000 divided by 750,000. Now what's also interesting is that AIG uses this income reliability ratio. Basically, we want to show Richard how much he can rely on his portfolio for guaranteed income. Unfortunately, that income reliability ratio is only 40%. How do we know that? Well, only $20,000, his social security, is guaranteed of his total $50,000 income need. The other 30,000, as we mentioned, is taken from his portfolio withdrawal. Here you can see on the pie chart in yellow. So on the left-hand side, as a brief review, his portfolio balance is 750,000, his portfolio withdrawal rate is 4% at 65, and his income reliability ratio of how much is guaranteed is 40%. Now, Richard experienced a market decline of 20%. His portfolio balance then dro drops down to 600,000. What does that mean for his withdrawal rate of $30,000 or withdrawal income mean of 30,000? It's now automatically increased to a 5% withdrawal rate. This is the result of having a low income reliability ratio of 40%. It's putting greater pressure on his portfolio to provide lifetime income. And it's also risking uh, the probability of, of him running out of additional savings in the latter years of retirement. Now let's take a look at a protected systematic withdrawal strategy using the Assured Edge Income Achiever. Because he's 65, Richard will be able to get a 5.7% payout on the Assured Edge Income Achiever. So he decides to reposition 200,000 of his 750,000 into the Assured Edge. 
that will give him an income amount of 5.7 on that would be 11,400. So as we look at the pie chart here, Social Security pays him $20,000 of guaranteed income. Assured Edge pays him 11,400 of guaranteed income. And thus he only has to rely on his brokerage portfolio uh, distribution of 18,600. Now did this improve his overall portfolio? Why yes it did. Because at 65, instead of starting out at a 4% withdrawal rate and risking that increasing when the market drops 20%, his portfolio withdrawal rate started out with 3.4%, as you can see here on the left. We also increased his income reliability ratio by 63%. Why? Well, because we had a total of 20 plus 11,400 or 31,400 total was protected and guaranteed for life. He was only risking the 18,600 with market uh, volatility. Now, when we tested this out with a 20% decline in his portfolio value, his ba portfolio balance uh, investments went down to 640,000, which resulted, which was basically his investments went down from 550 to 4, 440,000. The annuity remained value and income distribution off of 200,000 with the assured edge. And so his portfolio withdrawal rate only slightly increased to 4.3%. But remember, his income reliability ratio still remained at 63%. What did we do here with this protected withdrawal strategy? Well, we took off pressure off of Richard's investment portfolio withdrawal strategy. We increased his income reliability ratio from 40 to 63%. What's more with the insured edge uh, product, if Richard didn't need to grow, need the income right away, he would have the opportunity to increase his income uh, based on a 6% income growth rate until withdrawals were to, are to begin. So I just touched on a, a couple of our products, but I didn't go into much detail on the specific products themselves, but I think you get the idea why as, as agents and advisors, um, you need to help your clients navigate through clients, uh, through their de retirement accumulation risk and develop the right client focused income solution. A great resource for you to go to is our AIG.com forward slash annuity playbook. In this playbook, you'll click on rates and materials, sales and support programs and resources. Um, I'll highlight that briefly now. Going back into the playbook. And keep in mind, this playbook is not password protected. So AIG.com forward slash annuity playbook, you can go into our rates on our index products, our power five, seven, and 10. We also have a New York product. We also have the index product playbooks here with the client and agent materials here, as well as here's another resource to find the assured edge in the product tabs under fixed. And you can see the Assured Edge, Web Calculator, Rate Flyer, Placemat, and How to Do Business Guide. Some of our programs and resources, please utilize that. You're going to see some of our income savvy uh, slides and, and these resources as well. And we have multiple other client approved uh, marketing uh, programs for you to help educate your clients on how to be better um, income savvy. So again, I wanna thank you for your time and attention to help you develop that way to navigate through the client's accumulation risk and develop that right client focused income solution. Whether it's an indexed annuity or a fixed annuity with an income rider, AIG has multiple product solutions for you. With that, you have an additional resource with the Insurance Network America team. Kate Bowen, Jason Kaus, Matt Campbell, and Shannon Bowerman, along with Tom Vukovic, who lead the team. With that, I'd like to hand over 
the uh, presentation back to Tom. Thank you, Terika. If you could just leave that slide up, I appreciate that. What a great looking group there. Um, <laughs> I want to thank everyone uh, that joined us today for the call. Um, I want to thank our active producers for your ongoing commitment and your partnership. Again, if you're not contracted yet with Insurance Network America or AIG, I want to encourage you to give us a chance to earn your business. Um, again, um, know you all are extremely busy and it means a great deal to us that you take time out of your busy schedule to spend some time with us. And it is our goal to um, give you some fresh ideas that you can implement into your practice. We hope you walk away with some great ideas. Uh, regarding the fun giveaway that I mentioned earlier on the start of the call, um, we want to light up your annuity sales. So what we're going to do is we're gonna send out a video conference ring light to the first 20 producers that contract and complete the product training for any of the annuity products in the AIG lineup. So for those of you at first, I'll admit I didn't know what a ring light was. Um, I'll explain a little, a little more, clarify a little more. A ring light is a dimmable video conference light or a selfie light that can easily, easily be plugged into any laptop or PC. Many advisors are finding great use with this when they're conducting virtual meetings, uh, remote meetings with clients. So it's a very useful tool for you. We wanna send that to you. All you have to do is complete the uh, product training and, and get contracted with us. So um, reach out to us if, if you have clients in mind or an annuity prospect right now that you would like to discuss. We'd love to help. We'd love to run a quote for you and, and get all of these materials in your hands. Um, we certainly hope that you found this useful. Um, our number again is, is right there on the screen, 800-456-7999. Um, and uh, I just, again, really appreciate everyone joining us today. I want to thank our partner and special guest, Terika Novak with AIG Financial. And would like to wish you all a very productive and healthy rest of the week. Thank you again. Have a, have a terrific day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Terrica.